Hi guys, Billy Bikes here, doing a River Country 2.2 tent update. A few weeks ago, I went bikepacking in DC. I also biked on the Washington Old Dominion Trail. I camped at Lake Fairfax Campground in Reston, Virginia. Setting up this tent was a breeze. I set it up in five to six minutes. That evening was a little chilly. It got into the mid 40s, but I slept good. Condensation was at a minimum, plenty of ventilation, and when we get inside the tent, I'll show you. As we get closer, you can see I've got a mat, a small mat. I highly recommend a small mat. It helps keep tent inside clean. You're also gonna notice my trekking poles, which I bought at River Country, and I love them, and I like the way they slide into each other and collapse instead of fold. I'll also include a photo later on on how they packed on my saddlebags. As we look into the tent, you can see I got a sleeping bag on the left and my saddlebags on the right. Plenty of room for one person in gear, a little tight for two people. Now also you can see the ventilation over there on the left side and here there you got ventilation on the right. Up in the corner there you're going to see they have, a, they have a loop there for hanging a light. They also have a loop in the front part of the tent so you could actually have two lights if necessary. You can see my Lucy light there and my Lucy light I love it. It's solar power and it collapsed down to one inch. The sleeping bags were made by Anna, a friend of Plum Island Biker. She made me red and Mike gray. It was very comfortable. I slept well. Thanks, Anna and Mike. Great idea. I'm going to include a link on how Mike came up with this idea and how it was made in, in the bottom of this video, so you can probably follow through. But I thought it was a great find. I think the sleeping bags were from Costco. I am really glad I bought this tent. The tent weighs only about three pounds, and for $55, I think it's a great value. As I said earlier, I also bought the trekking poles for about another 20. I bike pack on a budget, which allows me to spend more money on great coffee and awesome craft beer. You can spend a lot of money on lightweight tents. I've got no regrets. I'm not a tent expert, but this tent works for me. As we walk around the tent one last time, I wanted to tell you something that Plum Island Biker came up with an idea about putting grommets in the corners, put a rope through it, through the grommet and then stake it down. He, started, he talked about putting uh, grommets here and then pulling it out a little bit further. He put one here, over there, and two on the other side. I'm gonna link a photo at the end of the video to show you. Plus, you can always go to Plum Island Biker and see how uh, he did it. I also think that uh, people ask me, if they, one question that was asked me is if this thing came with the vest of you. And sorry it didn't, but um, I wanted to show you one idea I thought because when you're on a budget you got to come up with some creative ideas and I'm thinking with Plum Island Biker saying something about a grommet I was thinking about actually putting a grommet here and you can see I put a stake here you could probably pull it out a little bit and, and create a little bit of a vestibule another thing you'd probably do if you if you really want to buy this tent I was actually thinking about carrying a small tarp to uh, protect my gear during inclement weather, like if it rained or anything, this way you don't have to bring your wet stuff inside the tent. Like I said a few minutes ago, you, when you bike on a budget, you gotta get creative. Well, I hope this video was helpful. Please like and subscribe. This is going to be a great summer. Have a great day. Billy Bikes.